Today we're going to be here at Disney Springs. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we're going to be hanging out here at Disney Springs where I'm going to be taking a closer look at things they have out so far for the holiday season. Now I know a lot of stuff is not up. Trees, decorations, and things like that, but I figured I'd want to get out here early enough and show you guys what they have to offer as far as merchandise, food, and different items such as that. So if you guys are up for it, let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. First thing we're gonna do is step inside the Disney Springs Christmas Tree Trail that's been here for every year for the last couple of years, but I wanna see if they have anything new to offer for this holiday season. What I enjoy about these trees is all the ornaments that you see you can actually buy, like this, you can actually buy that. And look, they have a new one for the Disney Skyliner. A new ornament for the Disney Skyliner, that's cool. And I forget, this tree has the monorail that goes all the way up the entire tree. And yes, this Christmas tree trail does get busy, but it runs from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Sunday through Saturday. Now, I don't remember Sleeping Beauty having a tree last year, and I believe at the tip top that is Maleficent's like staff that she holds. Oh, and look, it's one of the fairies' hats. Do you guys know the name of all the fairies? Those fairies, the three fairies that help Aurora can you name them? Comment below and let me know. And look, this is the one I'm talking about. This ornament is inside a lantern and it's inside the Days of Christmas store. So that ornament of Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, you can pick up. And I do like to visit Tiana's tree, the princess and the frog. That's new this year, the little Tiana and the frog ornament. That's really, really neat. So awesome, reminds me of New Orleans. I do miss New Orleans. Now over here at Noel Kringle's Cafe, they have an assortment of different treats, popcorn buckets, slushy cups, including the Noel's Cherry Holiday Slushy that is served in a Mickey Snowman cup, or you can get Elf Polly's Green Apple Slushy served in a Mickey Snowman cup. But I've got my eyes on that $25 Mickey Christmas tree popcorn bucket, and can you blame me? I mean, that thing looks so cool. And it opens up and you can put your popcorn in there and it also lights up. I really, really want that. Temptation is very hard. Not sure if you can see it through the sun rays, but it does snope here. Snope, you know, the snow soap. Standing here getting snoped on right now, but pay attention to these different posters and prints they have. They're tributes to different Disney attractions and Disney films. This one is talking about Leota's music lessons from Regions Beyond. Be sure to bring your death certificate. A nice nod to the Haunted Mansion. They have one down here that's a nice nod to Mulan. And over here they have a Toy Story tree. Now I could be wrong, but I don't remember a Toy Story tree. I'm sure they had one in the past. This is the ornaments that's available. It's the Alien and Wheezy from Toy Story. And then there's the little Pixar ball and Luxo the lamp but this is my favorite tree every year the haunted mansion tree i love how it has the bride here and leota's tombstone there i actually have that leota tombstone they sold that in the stores and the ornament they have is the hatbox ghost and leota you guys can see a little different version of hattie there he's all green and then leota's crystal ball it's awesome so many hidden details throughout this tree so make sure you stop by and, and see this. You never know, a ghost might just follow you home. And here at the Egg Noggery, this is the Yule and this is the Cosmo. Here on the menu, this is what they have, the Florida Yule, it's vodka, orange juice, and ginger beer. And then the Cosmo is the Citron Vodka. Can't pronounce that word, but I know that is cranberry juice, but it has glitter and it looks glittery. So there's all kinds of cool stuff here at the Egg Noggery to wet your whistle. And that Real Boy Pinocchio has a tree this year that's really, really neat. I like how it has Pinocchio's hat at the top of the tree here with the, the feather in it. All kind of little nods to the film all the way throughout the tree, including the official conscience right there. That's so cool. And my second favorite tree is the Robin Hood tree. Man, I sure do love this film, and I'm glad it's getting some attention. It's definitely one of the lesser known or less promoted 
films, I guess you could say, in the parks. And right next to the tree, they have a little poster paying tribute to the awesome film. Oh, and it's starting to snope again. Yep, I can, I can hear it. There it is. See all that? Good old Snope. And they have a nice little Star Wars tree. So cool. Darth Vader. Look at these lights. Little Stormtrooper headlights. Man, that's kind of awesome. And of course, the lightsaber at the tip top of the tree. I loved that idea last year. And I believe this one could quite possibly be new this year. The Lion King with Simba at the top of the tree here. Very cool, man. And all those prints I was talking to you guys about, you can actually pick those up right here. I believe these are like little cards you can send to someone, like little postcards. And it features some of the different prints that are all throughout the trail. But if you don't want to pick up a print, they have a luggage tag version of it. And also, it comes on a t-shirt. And on the back of the shirt, it has all the different little prints there. I'm in the, I'm in the shot because of the, the sun. But very, very cool idea. You can get a Dreamport Rainbow Corridor print on your shirt. And they took it a step further and put it on a, a nice little travel mug. Disney Springs Christmas Trail 2019. That is pretty cool, man. Well, the Christmas tree trail this year was very exciting. Lots of new things to see, things returning from last year. But nonetheless, it's a lot of fun just to walk through and see all the different Christmas trees and everything and take a lot of photos with your friends or family and loved ones. So I highly recommend coming and checking out the Christmas tree trail and it's free. This little display right here, this little photo opportunity is here. 365 days of the year, Mickey and Donald singing some Christmas carols, nice little tree, and Goofy ringing in the holiday season with his bells here. And then there's Pluto looking like he's whistling or singing a tune. It's a nice little photo op that I forget is back here. The only reason I remembered it is because we were exiting from the Christmas tree trail. Now let's pop into the Days of Christmas store and see if they have any new ornaments this year. Pretty sure they do. And the reason we know if they're new or not is every year I buy Abby an ornament and she buys me an ornament. And that's how we fill up our Christmas tree. So we're always keeping an eye out for the new ornaments for each year. Oh yeah, found some new ones already. Little Nanny Poppins from Mary Poppins. Her bag and her famous umbrella. I really do like that one. Oh, and by the way, most of the ornaments I'm gonna be showing you are $21.99. If they're not, I'll I'll let you guys know. I believe this figment one is new, him with the the, the butterfly there. Oh, the little caterpillar on the side of his leg there. Just noticed that. Oh yeah, found some more new ones. Check out Genie here from the finale of You Ain't Never Had a Friend Like Me. I wonder if that lights up. I don't see a button on here. And then there's, yeah, with the light on it, it kind of illuminates it. We have a boo here on the flying carpet. Here's Jasmine and her, her tiger. If you can name her tiger, comment below. I always like to test your guys' Disney knowledge. Now, I do like this one. It's Aladdin, and the genie is coming out of the lamp. And I remember them coming out with this last year, Goofy and Max Goof. Now, I'm a fan of these legacy ornaments they put out. This year, they have some new ones, including... Mr. Toad here. It's a heavy duty ornament. Now let's see if the price on this is any different. Nope. $21.99 including the legacy ornament. So that's that's really cool. $21.99 for these. I mean look at this. Donald Duck 85 years old. That's incredible to think that Donald Duck is 85 years old. Wow. There's 10 up today, 10 years. Oh, okay, so they do 10. Okay, so that's number three out of 10. Toad is number seven out of 10. Donald's number eight out of 10. Wow, and so on and so forth. Lots of different ideas this year for, for Christmas ornaments if you're into collecting Christmas ornaments like we are. A couple of months ago, I did a full tour of the Days of Christmas store, including the scavenger hunt. I'll put the link to that video in the description box Click on the video and watch it if you'd like to see the full scavenger hunt and a full tour of the entire store with some secret things. Now I know a lot of you guys are really into pin trading, so I'm going to see if I can find any new pins for the holidays. Now I know this isn't a pin, but I wanted to show you guys the 
limited release Christmas magic band they have here. Kind of awesome. It is. How do you say that word? Amethyst? Amethyst? E either way, it's $29.99 to deck out your magic band and the Christmas overlay here. It's pretty cool. I like it. Now, these are like special edition pins they have here, but they're. They're all different characters, and there's like different resorts on here too. I'm looking at Beach Club and Boardwalk and the Art of Animation. It looks like they're reversible. Like this one right here says All Star. I believe on the other side is Woody and Bo Peep. Coronado Springs, Fort Wilderness. Wow, they're all a part of the Resort 2019 Limited Edition pins. Found some new ones because it says what's new. Look at this. It's a Stormtrooper. As a snowman, Lil Porg. He doesn't really look happy about the holidays, but I'm sure he is. I love the BB-8 with the, oh, it spins. That's cool. BB-8, look at that. I love that. That's a great idea for a pin. And I do like the Stormtrooper with the Santa hat on him. That's rather fitting, but getting down here to the classic characters, Mickey feeding some deer. Oh my gosh. This is from one of my favorite Christmas cartoons. So basically what happens is Chip and Dale get trapped in Mickey's tree that he chops down and takes inside his house. Pluto does not like that idea and he's trying to get Chip and Dale out. Well, in one of the scenes, he's holding the ornament over his face and it blows up just like it is on the pen. That's amazing. I can't believe they made a pen out of that. But anyways, there's the North Pole Express with Mickey as your conductor. Minnie and Mickey both holding on to candy canes. Look at Mickey rocking the baseball cap. Holiday Treats pin. A Wreck-It Ralph pin. Monsters Inc. pin. Lots of new pins for the holidays. And if you're looking for just a basic type pin, can't go wrong with the Mickey Peppermint trading pin. All right, I think the next plan is to head over to the World of Disney Store and then make our way over to see if we can find any holiday treats and anything else that's here for the holidays. The one thing I'm noticing is right now they do not have any of their Christmas decorations up, like wreaths or trees or lights or anything. I'm guessing all that's going to be coming later on in the upcoming days or weeks. We'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of treats, let's see if Goofy's Candy Company has anything new for the holidays. Look at this peppermint bark. I believe that's on a marshmallow dipped in chocolate, and then this is a pretzel dipped in chocolate rolled in crushed peppermint. That looks delicious. Different cupcakes they have here. Ooh, look at the Mickey Santa Rice Krispie Treat they have. The Snowman, Jack Skellington, and those big cookies that I love. Those are so Good. I have never had the one that looks like a donut. Three different donut holes, but I've had the Christmas tree one. Assortment of cookies down here for the holidays. Oh yeah, here at Aristo Crepes, they have a cherry jubilee. Look at that, look how festive that looks. It looks like a little Christmas tree. Below that, they're also offering the peppermint bubble waffle. Now that sounds really good. I'm a sucker for mint chocolate chip ice cream. Then you add chocolate drizzle, whipped cream, and peppermint bark on a waffle, I'm sold. And for those of you who are looking for a non-dessert option here at BB Wolf's, they have a turkey slider, two turkey patties with Munster, arugula, cranberry sauce, and a brown gravy. That looks and sounds delicious. are definitely in full swing here at the World of Disney Store. There is so much Christmas merchandise, you guys. It's insane. So much Christmas. Now, I know for a fact this Disney Parks Christmas train trip is new for this holiday season. I'm a big fan of the Christmas trains they have, and I've never seen this one before. Man, it comes with all kinds of different characters and remote control. 
for $139, you can take this home. Digging this new tree skirt, for sure. Plaid always sticks out to me. Not sure the price on this. $79.99, so about 80 bucks for this tree skirt. And don't forget your stocking. Now, my family growing up, we had one of these, a countdown to Christmas, but it wasn't a Christmas castle. It was it was Disney themed. We had some, some Disney themes going on in, but I believe it was handmade by my grandmother and my grandfather. They have one here at Disney that you can pick up. I like how it has Mickey and Minnie here in the I guess you start at the bottom and work your way up, or you start at the top and work your way down. So you start at the bottom. I corrected myself. I looked. If you lift these, they'll give you the number. Number 24 is up there. So for $39.99, you could, you could take this home and start your own tradition if you and your family are not doing this. I recommend doing that. It's a lot of fun. Well, you guys, I think our adventure has come to an end which means it's time to say goodbye but if you enjoyed this episode please give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't yet go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's free and it'll keep you updated with my latest video also if you would like to support my channel please visit my patreon page at patreon.com slash world of mica where donating one dollar a month can help fund episodes just like this very exciting walking around disney springs and seeing that the holidays are starting to come to disney I'm super excited about all the new things that are going to be here for the holiday season. And I hope you guys are too. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Mike, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.